Today we're making something very special. Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Um, had some freezing temperatures recently and uh, therefore I'm doing a lot of gardening. Wrapping some stuff up for the end of the growing season year for the most part. But this year was the first year we grew fruit on our trifoliate citrus trees. I've got a really cool video you can check out about kind of the whole thing. But uh, when we made a lemonade substitute, it was amazing. And right now there's just a couple left on the trees. That one's got one little yellow guy up in there. This one here has got at least three. But we're gonna see if we can make a trifoliate pie. Kind of like a key lime pie, but out of trifoliate citrus. I think we can do it, I think it'll be good. And uh, thankfully I don't just have these four. Um, we've got a bowl inside, so I'm gonna turn this over to Pinky Pepper, see what she can do. Cause our 13 year old should be able to make us a pretty tasty pie if this uh, citrus is good for it. Okay, so today we are going to be making some key lime pies. Well, they're not actually gonna be key lime pies. They're gonna be trifoliate citrus pies. So we're gonna be um, cutting open these trifoliate citrus and squeezing out all the juice um, to make our pies. So we're gonna do that quick and hopefully I do this right because I don't know how Dad and Red Pepper cut these open but it should be pretty easy. So we're gonna do that. We have our one cup of trifoliate citrus juice right here and I'm just gonna do one pie at a time so I'm doing one pie right now and I have a, a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk in this bowl and then I'm going to be using um, three egg yolks the whites won't be used in this recipe so and then a pie crust and then your juice is all we're gonna need for this so we have a gram pie crust and I'm gonna get all these eggs done quick What? 
and not like destroying. The easiest way to do it is like this. Which I already have one egg yolk. I already have one egg. You just go like this, you just crack the egg on your hand, and then you just. Okay, now we have our egg yolks and our sweetened condensed milk in this bowl. So I'm just going to stir it up and then we're going to add half a cup of our, um, of our trifoliate citrus juice. since I made a key lime pie or anything like key lime pie so it's fun to be making one again so these are just gonna make at 350 degrees I think it's 300. Um, for 15 minutes and then after we pull them out of the oven we're gonna let them sit and cool for 10 minutes before we put them in the fridge so so I'm just gonna make sure this is stirred in really well and now I'm just going to pour it right into our pie crust. So we are not cooking these right now, we're going to cook them a little bit later so I'm just going to stick the pie in the fridge and then when we go to cook it, we'll just take it out of the fridge and put it right in the oven. Okay. Here's our one, our first pie. Right, put this in the fridge. Oh, a funny thing is about this is I made eggs with just the egg whites before and it makes like white eggs, it's really funny. Almost white right. eggs, it's to wipe this pie off edge because it'll kind of like burn if it's on the edge here. So that is how we are making our trifoliate citrus pies. So I'm looking forward to trying it. We'll see what people think it tastes like. Maybe it'll taste like lemonade. Papa's home from work. Pinky says I should smell one. I don't know if you can smell anything. No, I really can't smell anything. But this one got bent up. Look at that. She says I could taste it. 
This is uncooked, by the way, but... I think trifoli is like better. Yeah. Wow. Did you guys try any samples of it? No. I can't wait to see that cooked. Wow. So wow. there's two, and we'll cook them for 15 minutes, and then. All right, we will check with these once she gets these baked. 15 minutes of how long? Or how 350. much? 350. 350. And then we'll let them cool for 10 minutes. This, I might plant a whole forest of these. Is anyone ready for this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Because you're having a hard time. Uh, she might not be ready. She wanted the sauce. Um. While she cuts it, would you get a couple trifoliates? There's some left, right? Oh and get a nice, get a nice little plate to put out. It can be one of those red ones, maybe. But I want a nice picture of the pie next to some trifoliate. Yes, sir. So cut one in half too. Guys, this is trifoliate pie, which is crazy. And guys, trifoliate uh, aid compared to lemonade or limeade, what one do you like the best? Trifoliate. Trifoliate? Yeah. And guys, what I've got is I've got seeds that I'm trying to dry out enough that I can ship them without molding, but yet have them be uh, still viable. So he's got seeds I want to get listed maybe in the next week for you guys in our Etsy shop. I want them to still be viable, but I want to be able to ship them without molding, and I would highly recommend planting them in the fall. But this is, I'm going to plant a forest of these, children. This is such a useful tree, and I'm probably going to start some big ones in pots, too, for y'all's future. That way, um, you know, you want to get a little spatula, I'll get the picture out of the way while she cuts the slices for the people. And I got a message from Mama on my way back home to town saying, pick up some Cool Whip or Ready Whip, and I got it too late. Or I could have. But this should be a standalone anyway. Oh yeah, okay. And do you guys want to try a maple syrup or honey uh, limeade with no sugar? Yeah. I bet you, because it doesn't have that tart, stinging, puckery edge to it, I bet you it would pair really well with it, right? Oh, uh, this, yes, this is the best I could find. Okay, well, Do fish one out of there. Okay, and put it on the plate. Them again. Well, yeah, I'm not cutting them again. Oh, you're not? Okay. I don't think maybe for the little kids, but... There's eight and there's ten almost total. Was it all? It's not a week. Oh, my. Hey, yeah, slide it back. Yum! This is so pretty. Oh, yeah. It's like the same color. That's mm. amazing. One sitting on it. No. <laughs> tip that one. There we go. I'm trying try some All right, Pinky. That's, we're going to have you hold some for us. Really? <laughs> You're trying it cooked? Yeah. What you got? Is it satisfactory? Oh my. Now we know someone whose favorite pie is like a key lime pie, right? <laughs> <laughs> it actually does. It's really good. Yes. Um, let's do this photo and let's try. We can slide those props off of here for now. Mm. All right, guys, these but are we delicious. We love these. We love these. And we know a number of people who've tried them who just like to gobble them up. <laughs> yeah. Raw as is. When um, I was making the pie, Belle was there and she's like, can I have one of these? And she was sucking off all the um, insides from the peels. Okay. All right. Pink, did you want to start or do you want to start? Who's starting with a slice? Me. Um, I love this plate. This plate has been here ever since we moved here. The day you moved, so it's special. Really? Yeah. All right, let's see what she thinks. Oh, this is has a cracked back. It's not my fault. Key trifoliate pie. This is really good. I think yeah. it's the best pie I've ever had. Really? Have you had key lime pie? You like this better? Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's it. How are we doing? With my little. Give that one to Bug. Right. <laughs> Let's see Bug get started. Well, that first piece just can't perfect. These don't. Buddy, that's from your own tree in your own yard. What do you think? It tastes like citrus. It does? Mm -hmm. Really citrusy into like limey, like tea lime pie, 
I think the person who loves Java yeah. would probably like this a whole bunch. Wow. Did they. they did I give them some Geiger yeah. counter? Mm hmm. I call it Geiger counter because it looks like a glow stick when it's out in the sun. It's so creamy, you need to try a piece. Just. Yeah. Well, you three pie. try. And then I'll have me and my lady enjoy I'm a little so bit. I'm so glad we got May made two pies. <laughs> Hey, let's save one to share with our friend for Shabbat. Mm. That's what the other one will be for. What do you think, son? This is amazing. Yeah? Dude, from our own tree. And you got all the recipe earlier in this video, right? Everything mm -hmm. used? Cool. So. Well, just three ingredients. What are they? A 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Three egg yolks, you don't use the whites. And half a cup of... Um, trifoliate juice? Trifoliate juice. And then your pie crust. <laughs> wow. And we've made homemade pie crust before, right? Yeah. Right. But these, I think you just use What do you guys think? Crust. Is this going to be a yearly favorite? Mm hmm. Yeah, I wish it we had like I mean, lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had trifoliate citrus all year. I can get a lot more. Somebody was suggesting water glass in them. I don't know if you can do it, but I'd be willing to try. <laughs> I don't know if people water glass citrus or not. Wow, I gotta get in on this. I don't know guys, it was just an idea. Mm. Wow, it is, it's like lemony but without the you know, sting. I like this better than the key lime pie because the key lime pie sometimes tastes, do you know that taste? It tastes like, I don't know, it's hard to explain it. Sometimes I can taste it though. Mm. Where this doesn't have any, it would just taste super good. Wow. That was a good idea, but I like the reality better. And I kind of covered my face uh, with crumbs. <laughs> I'll get my lady out. If you've never grown your own trifoliates and made trifoliate pie, I'd highly recommend it. Mm. What did you just ask? If I could eat this? Mm-hmm. I'll eat that one. This one. You may. You can cut another one in half. I'll take the other half. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the last pie. <laughs> Even after enjoying trifoliate pie, these children still just love the raw fruit. Again, they may not be for everyone, but they're definitely for us. And the main reason we know these are the citrus for us is what? They grow okay. here. They grow here. So if something just grows naturally outside where you are, it might be the stuff you're supposed to be eating where you are. Not well, that I don't enjoy a pineapple or something else. If you don't like the taste of it like plain, it tastes really good if you like bake it or something, it tastes so good. Mm. My lady, your turn has come. I'm like all your children are gobbling up raw trifoliates now. Are you guys just gobbling all the raw stuff so you don't have any to make any more pie out of? No. <laughs> no. no. Alright, that's right. They're so. extras. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out. Homegrown, my lady. Mm -hmm. What says you? That is very nice. Mm -hmm. Similar to a key lime, huh? Yum. But we don't have to move to uh, That's good. Florida the Florida Keys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can live right here in the Ozarks neat like that, mm -hmm. darling. Would you do it again? Mm -hmm. Would you look forward to it every year? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, Miha. Nice flavor. You got a little bit? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh look at her. You sweet thing. That's been that way, darling. Aww. <laughs> well, guys, hopefully that was a fun video for you. We like growing stuff, we like uh, harvesting stuff, we like exploring options like we've done with carp and gar and uh, snake gourds and other things, just pushing things to their limits. Absolutely amazing, right? Yes, sir. What do you guys say? 